हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू एसबी मित्रा आज हम लोग बात करने वाले हैं टेक्सटाइल इंडस्ट्री से जुड़ी हुई कंपनी से हमारे साथ जुड़े हैं मिस्टर अभय असालकर साहब और मिस्टर योगेश निमोदिया साहब अभय साहब है कंपनी के चेयरमैन और मैनेजिंग डायरेक्टर और योगेश साहब है कंपनी के सी एफ ओ सर थैंक यू फॉर योर टाइम एंड वेलकम टू द शो थैंक यू सो सर सबसे पहले शुरुआत करते हैं कंपनी के बिजनेस ओवर से तो प्लीज uh, एक्सप्लेन करेंगे कि बायोटेक्स इंडस्ट्रीज क्या क्या प्रोडक्ट्स बनाती है और कंपनी का कारोबार क्या है yeah we will brief about the company also so things will be clear directly jumping on the product uh we both are a textile engineer with mba in marketing with techno commercial background of more than cumulative experience of 52 year plus and in the industry we are working uh, since 1998 as a entrepreneurship career we started uh, 12 2012 and this biotech industry is limited uh, company which is on the now on the bsc msc platform it started in october 19 so last 4 years we are working uh, very hard and very smart on this model the beauty of this uh, business model is that this is a light asset model uh, whereas the contract manufacturing and the job work are the major, major things along with some trading of the value added product into textiles though we started major from the cotton bale processing and uh, vertical integrations as a value addition into the cotton and blend yarns as well as the fabric in last 4 year so our major product is the cotton bales uh, yarn cotton and the cotton blend yarns and the fabric that is also cotton as well as the various fiber blend fabric both into the home textile segment as well as the shirting segments in fabric as far as market is concerns uh, we enjoy majority into the domestic market as well as few percentage into the merchant export also as a value addition uh, of the yarn like tfo yarn and uh, as far as turnover is concerned uh, we closed last year 118 crore with profitability of 4 crore and pat around 3 crore this is the brief about the company products right yeah thank you for that over you sir थोड़ा सा एक स्टेप पीछे जाते हैं सर जैसे आपने बताया कि आप दोनों ही टेक्सटाइल इंडस्ट्री से जुड़े हुए काफी लंबे समय से और दोनों का टेक्सटाइल इंडस्ट्री में एजुकेशन भी है तो आप दोनों की मुलाकात कैसे हुई और ये कंपनी शुरू करने का आइडिया कहाँ से आया सर अगेन टू दम आंसर माई सेल्फ एंड योगेश वी टूक एडमिशन इन टू टेक्सटाइल इंजीनियरिंग एंड पास आउट इन नाइनटीन एंड ज्वाइन इन नाइनटी एट एट द Uh, that to cotton denim division in Maharashtra. Uh, Yogesh was into the spinning department, and I was that weaving department. So uh, professionally, we met in Raymond, and we had apprenticeships. When we grow into the segments uh, during this Raymond period, we completed MBA also and worked in the different segment like uh, production, maintenance, product developments, customer supports. So various department we did handle. Okay. and again uh, after uh, working almost 12 13 years into the different segments of textile industry we again meet in 2011 uh, and uh, then it was the same idea ki can we start with some new ideas uh, where the gap gap industry is in demand and there is a good gap to start with some retrofit technology value addition technology to the textile industry because Uh, on the floor experience or the technological experience already we had and the new and latest development into the industry which is very needed for the indian textile industry also we thought instead of uh, replacing the new machines if we provide some technology which is a retrofit technology we can increase the life of the machine we can reduce the power consumptions we can reduce the manpower required with the new technology which suit to the fashion Like multi count, multi piece clothes, variety of the products into denim industry, variety of the products into the shooting, shirting, fashion industry. So that type of technology we introduced in when we came together in 2011 again. 
uh, that we bring in for the market, especially Western and Central India. And then that was the point of same thought and philosophy. We came together and start business our friendship into the business relationship also. Excellent. Um, sir, let's talk about the org structure of the company. What are you talking about? ग्रुप ऑफ कंपनीज में कौन से कौन से सब्सिडरीज या सिस्टर कंपनीज है हमने जो व्हेन वी स्टार्टेड इन 2012 आवर कंपनी नेम वाज पायटेक्स टेक्सटेक प्राइवेट लिमिटेड ये हमारा कंपनी था जिसमें हमने मशीन एजेंसी बिजनेस ऑफ मशीन स्टार्ट किया व्हेन वी स्टार्टेड वी वर नॉट इन यान एंड कॉटन और पैटिक so it was uh, the biotech tech tech private limited jisme humne journey start kiya then uh, we have one more company adler bissol llp and uh, jo machine business hai gradually we wanted to have more focus on machine business so ek biotech uh, ventures private limited hai jisme now we shifted all our agency business of technology selling is diverted where we do some trading as well as some agency business so in totality we have total uh, these three companies uh, piotex textex private limited adler bissol llp and also we have piotex ventures private limited or humne uh, last year ek piotex global international private limited bhi banaya so as far as uh, different companies as uh, abhay said we are into contract manufacturing and uh, selling of uh, light asset model where we don't own the Uh, plant and machineries, but we work uh, closely with our technical expertise. What we gain during our uh, industrial experience to ensure win-win situation between industry as well as us. <laughs> so uh, even though we have different companies in same model, but there are different contract, different uh, we have association with different mills. So we protect each and every uh, company's interest. ओके okay. और सर अब कैप टेबल कैप टेबल की बात करें तो आई गेस दिस इज होली प्रमोटर ओन कंपनी राइट या कोई बड़े इंस्टीट्यूशनल इन्वेस्टर्स भी हैं अभी इसमें जस्ट आई विल शेयर व्हेन वी स्टार्टेड वी आर ओनली द मेजर शेयर होल्डर अबाय एंड मी बट इट इज हाईली प्रोफेशनली मैनेज कंपनी वी वांट it is not family own or uh, it should be continue with our second generation or third generation it should professionally manage system oriented and uh, it is not necessary uh, me or abhay should be there it should be you know company should work so major share holding is with us only abhay and me and now maybe with uh, we are dilating sir aapki company ka naam kafi interesting hai pyrotech industries इसका रखने का क्या सिग्निफिकेंस है आपका आइडिया कैसे क्लिक किया इज वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग क्वेश्चन व्हाट आई सेड एज अबे सेड वी आर बोथ आर टेक्सटाइल इंजीनियर वी वर्क इन इंडस्ट्री सो इन आवर ब्लड व्हाट एवर वी वांट टू डू वी वांट टू डू इन टेक्सटाइल लाइक वी स्टार्टेड विद एजेंसी बिजनेस एंड देन वी गॉन इन टू यान कॉटन फाइब्रिक एंड मे बी फ्यूचर सम सस्टेनेबल प्रोडक्ट वी वॉन्ट टू डू इन टेक्सटाइल so tex tex is related to textile and when we started that time our dream was to do whether it is small or big we should do best so pioneer pio is from pioneer so pioneer in textile so that is what the name drive because we wanted to be a very professionally driven uh, company we don't wanted to keep any name family name or something which do not drive related to family owned business so it should be very professional and also the pioneer in textile that is the uh, long form and if you see the logo also uh, it is tri color so we want to be in uh, indian company uh, in logo you can see the arrow we want to do continual and gradual improvement or uh, growth in our organization so that logo in logo that arrow uh, donate that right Okay, sir. And sir, I was looking about your financials. Last two years, your profit margin has increased from one to three percent. Is it sustainable, or it is like one of all last two years? No, it will. Uh, I think it will further improve. Why it should be improved? I will tell you. When we started this biotech industries in two thousand nineteen, 
our focus was more on contract manufacturing and trading of cotton bales which is the bottom of the textile value chain now if you see last year our uh, breakup of product wise our uh, turnover now from uh, we have increased the yarn which is the second value addition uh, of textile to 25% and cotton is around 74 or 75% now gradually our plan is to keep cotton at same level of around 75 76 crore turnover and we want to focus more on yarn and fabric which is the value addition in textile when we go for forward then uh, gradually margin will improve also we are doing lot of r&ds on sustainable product which is the future need of the industry so i think we will be able to maintain or will improve the margin in days to come and our model is more of light asset model where we need strong working capital because we are not investing on asset so after the money of ipo i think margin should further improve okay sir and sir i was looking about your clients like top 5 client contribute majority of revenue so like is there some concentration risk or going forward you will like try to increase your customer base in our business uh, actually it is credit business normally mm-hmm. we have to give it to credit and it is b to b business so in that business uh, when we are giving credit the volume is very high like uh, one truck of yarn which is 9 ton costing mm-hmm. around 25 lakhs rupees mm-hmm. so we have to be very choosy in selecting a customer so because of b to b business and credit business so uh, we are very gradual in increasing the customer Mm-hmm. adding a one customer need lot of evaluation lot of uh, thorough study once we have trust then we increase the business so that is the reason gradually we are working on imp- increasing the customer uh, base but in b2b normally there will not be very big number of customers uh, which mm-hmm. we are catering and sir so like what is the time of credit cycle how much time customer pay you back see there are two type of things credit cycle is around in totality it is a 2 to 3 months mm-hmm. depend on the season and the product in the same basket also mm-hmm. and uh, uh, depend on the uh, market conditions like uh, merchant export it is less whereas the domestic it is little bit more so average it is 2 to 3 months which we want to improve in coming years after the better working capital as well as more investment into r and d and new product which suits to the quick fashions and this is our plans okay all right uh, sir thoda sa risk ke bare mein baat karte hain to aapki company aur aapki industry in general ke liye kya kya risks ho sakte hain sir aisa hai ki very good as far as investment is concerned it's very important to have discussion on such topics right. and you are the right people uh, who are really um, doing the good work for the industry because the industry and the investor relationships and the right information from the right people to the right investor is very important and this question is related to that see risk is that every business have some risks but uh, the basic necessity of the human roti kapda aur makan we are very fortunate to be into the one segment which is a kapda right. without a fabric or without a textile no one can imagine the life of human we have on worldwide we have to more than 200 countries and the population is more than 800 and we india itself is one of the biggest market globally so domestic demand is always there if you see as far as economy or purchasing power of indian industry is concerned last 10 years from uh, we have grown from eight number seven number six number to five number and the plans the government have the policies government have but why the brand image of the country and the product which uh, textile industry is working on that is we are going to be a third uh, economy which will definitely directly or indirectly improve the purchasing power of the people so with this uh, figures and data and analysis as well as after the covid the position of the china brand image of the china in textile has reduced and that tangibly having bigger advantage for the indian textile industry number 3 this indian government is very strong in the foreign policies and foreign trades we had very strong discussion with the uk and other countries for the free trade agreement also which was not in past with all this development we think 
all the textile industry, it is not only the biotechs, which the business is doing, almost all the sectors into the textile industry are going to be boom, having the better future, better margins, better business in years to come. And we are very positive, very optimistic as far as business is concerned, business of top of line and bottom line will improve as well as sustainable product which prepared worldwide from the Indian textile market are going to be ahead among any other country and China also. Okay. Well, sir, as you have told me, you have to do export too. So, what will be split hoga, sir, geography ka, domestic versus export? Uh, see, I told you initially also, our major market is a domestic market, Maharashtra, MP, Gujarat and Madhya Pradesh. These are the four major markets which Biotex enjoy the relationships in B2B. As well as 15 to 20 percent, we are doing the merchant export, which 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 we want to increase to more than 25 percent in next two three years. All right. Also, in general, textile industry me competition competition kafi steep hoti hai, right? So, apka differentiating factor kya hai? Kya cheez hai jo uh, Biotex industries ko baki uh, industries se alag karti hai? Yeah, very important. I told you that we both are a textile engineer as well as uh, we completed MBA and cumulative experience of more than 52 years into the same segment. You know, we are a techno-commercial people. We understand the process. We understand the market. We understand the customer perceptions. We develop the product which is required by the customer and suit to the ever-changing fashion. As well as we try to give what customer need. I mean, customized product, value for money product. Because abhi, the days has gone ki ek garment liya aur usko teen char char paas sal chalana hai. Now it's a quick fashion. Every year, every six months, this young generation or the people who have high purchasing power need a different fabric, different garment, fashionable garment, more comfortable. So it is not only the cotton, but even the new fiber, very comfortable, rich fiber like um, viscose is in good demand, linen is in good demand, hemp is in good demand, tensile, modal. So variety of the fibers is introducing in the Indian textile industry now, which was before 10, 20 years, Indian textile was known more for the cotton textiles. But now the, with these fashion trends, with this good, almost all the brand, global brands are in India. Either they are available in India, they are manufacturing in India, they are sourcing from the India. So we are part of all this value chain. Okay. So with this, um, with this base, uh, uh, and being into a techno-commercial knowledge base of last many years with good industry relation. And Yogesh told very briefly, we have one technological product which we started in 2012, which is a technology providing to the textile industry as agency business, as a service business also. So we know the machines also. Because of all this knowledge, all this experience, we produce value for money product, customized product, and which is advantageous to the customer as well as the biotech also. That is the reason from the zero, 40 lakh ton over of first year, now we as a group, more than 800 crore. And if you see the even last four year data of the biotech industry also, every year top line and bottom line is increasing. Bilkul, sir. Uh, before we wrap up, sir, any message you want to leave for potential investors? Yeah. Uh... Like uh, Piotex Industries, uh, as far as uh, we are a very young and dynamic company, and uh, we are growing. Our aim or vision is to be a 500 crore company in days to come. So, like we want uh, uh, the investor, they should be a part of our journey. So it will it will create the win-win situation for all the stakeholder. Uh, so it will be our pleasure if somebody or some shareholder be uh, on our board. So we we always welcome all new ideas and open and transfer. Thank you. All right, sir. Thank you very much. Uh, Abhay, sir, Yogesh, sir, for our subject. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, all of you.